every year a new Judge Dan game is released. While the last game is a good step in the right direction, it did have shortcomings. This game marked a new era for the series. Is this game better than the last? Let's begin with... If you've never played this game before, you copy your coach to the best of your ability and get points by how well the game picks up your motion. The game only scores a player based on the right hand, not the whole body. The coach's right hand is colored where the player holds the Joy-Con. Very helpful to tell the difference between the left and the right hand in some of the harder routine. In the bottom right corner, the game tells you what the next move is. One thing to look out for is the gold move. If done right, the gold move gives players more points than normal. After the song get over, you can see your score and outcome. How many perfect, the number of gold moves, and so on. Stars are used as the ranking. 1 to 5, Superstar, and Megastar are the ranking. You have 40 plus pieces of music with alternative dance routine. Alternative and extreme are the same song but with a different dance routine. In previous game, you had alternative routine to unlock. However, you have all of them from the start. I'm not going to let every song and dance routine in the game. Music is subjective and falls under opinion. No one is right or wrong. No list will make everyone happy. The music list is mostly good, but with a few odd ones. Just that mostly favored music made recently with genres heavily favored in pop and K-pop, but does have a few older pieces of music and other genres like Latin, rock, and so on. Returning artists like Billie Eilish, Bruno Mars, and Doja Cat are here, along with BTS making their first Just Dance game appearance. Unlike the game before, maps are given a 3D feeling, with great detail and camera angles, along with background and choreo to match. I can't say every map will be a hit with everyone, but all of the maps are done well in terms of the 3D feeling. A few maps go for more experimental angles with a stop motion and a 15-bit routine. By the way, I love the map or remap for Toxic. The original dance from Just Dance 2 is in the game as an extra, and it's not a cover version unlike in the original game. The game finally had a new menu along with a new art direction and a different online mode. The new online mode allowed up to 6 players and cross play. If you are wondering about the world dance floor mode from previous games, it's gone. The team behind the game promote new game mode, plural, it's hard to say what counts as a new game mode or a game mode in general from Just Dance. It could be something the series had done before, but called something different or a different form of content like mashup, which are not a game mode from older titles. My biggest problem with Just Dance in the past few years is that each new game doesn't add anything new in terms of game mode, different types of content, or the new offerings are very weak. However, at the time of making this video, 
there is no new mode or different content. I can't talk about something that is not here. I don't have any idea when other mode will be added. It could be with this game or the net edition. I recommend you buy the game from the eShop because a physical copy will not have a game in the case. Only a code you have to enter for the online store. I hate when game companies do this. Why have a case and there's no game in there? Just have one of those game cards with the code. The only reason why I would recommend getting a physical copy because the game could be cheaper from retail compared to buying it from an online game store when the game is on sale. Or the game is a part of a buy to get one free deal. If you're going to play the game on PlayStation or Xbox, I have some bad news. 2023 is not available for PS4 or Xbox One. You can't use the PlayStation Move controller or the PS4 camera to play Just Dance 2023 on the PS5. You can use the options on PS5 and play older Just Dance games, but you can't play this version of Just Dance with the options. The PS5 camera is not used for the game, only for recording and broadcasting. You can't use the connect with the newest Xbox system because it's not backward compatible. So, how do you play this game on PS5 and the new Xbox? That's a good question. By using your phone. Yes, the object you use to call people Watch videos and use Twitter for it you to play Just Dance. Your phone acts like a controller or the Joy-Con, but be careful. This option has been going on for a while now. It wasn't needed before and was optional, but now, if you don't have Just Dance on Switch, this is your only option. A new app is made for controlling this version of the game. I'm not sure how well the new app is or other details like phone data, internet provider, the type of phone, and so on. The final odd thing about the game is that you have to download music or use an internet connection to play content from Just Dance 2023. I recommend you download and not rely on the internet because if your internet gives you the middle finger, I'm not sure if you can play any content from the main game you paid for. Previous games have never done this before. The content was already in the game. And you didn't need the internet. Only a few required the internet because one or two new routines were added after the release. So, I got the game early at a Walmart. I was looking around like normal and I found the game. It was the same day as Pokemon Gen 9 release day. I know I said not to buy the physical copy and I knew before the release the case didn't have a copy of the game. But I wanted to see if I could play the game early. I knew that all of the content and online stuff wouldn't be ready until Tuesday. Before the main update, not all the maps are available to download, or in the game for that matter. The rest had to be played using an internet connection. I was thinking the rest would be able to be downloaded after the main update on Tuesday. I was wrong. So, part of the game content is locked behind an internet connection. I understand if this was Just Dance Unlimited or Just Dance Plus, it's what Ubisoft is calling it now, more on that later, and I understand for future content. But why do I have to download the content that should be in the game already?
just then put and just then unlimited are basically the same thing but with a different name. Both put and unlimited are a service that allow a player to play music and map from previous games along with all new original content with more being added to the list the game gives you a free month to test it out however there are issues i think you should know about one it required an internet connection if your internet is less than average or poor you will have buffering issues two this is related to the previous game, Just Dance 2022. All new plot content, whatever it will be, will only be added to the new game and not the old game. Every time a new game comes out, the older game stops getting new content. I wish I was wrong about this. However, this has been going on since Just Dance 2018. And the same thing will happen. You won't get any more content unless you buy the new game. And three, if you have Just Dance Unlimited already, you can't use that membership for the new game. You have to buy a Plus membership. Ubisoft doesn't count Unlimited and Plus as the same thing. As for the content in Just Dance Plus right now, Unlimited had 700 plus map, while plus had 150. <laughs> I'm waiting until Just Dance Plus had new content or had the same amount as Just Dance Unlimited before I buy. I can wait. The new look and the 3D feeling from the new map are great and make the game stand out even more than the previous game before it. Outside of that, the game itself and offering are okay as of right now. Everything relating to put it backward, the choice to have the music downloaded from the main game and some of the main content requiring the internet which should already be on the game itself is bad and the lack of controller option for the playstation and xbox is very questionable of course the game will be updated to fit issues hopefully the right one adding on to that if the game can keep it promise about new game mode later down the line we will have a much better game but only time will tell i want to recommend the game more but i think it's best to wait until a lot of the issues are gone if you can't wait i think buying the game at a cheaper price maybe half off is much better if you have a question about the game, leave a comment and I will try to answer it the best I can. And please do all that YouTube stuff for me, it will really help me out. Thank you for watching.